Hello everybody, this is Gregory with How I Lost Over 100 Pounds and Kept It Off for 30 Plus Years, where there should be no hesitance in your weight loss and in your weight maintenance. Today we're going to talk about the dangers of the protein supplements. Now before I begin, if you need help with weight loss, especially from the psychological point of view, contact me through the Clarity FM link found here in the episode notes. Also check out my website, Naturopathic Earth, which has tons of recipes, some of which are related to this topic. So check out the podcast, The Awakened Man, check out my books, and lastly, if you appreciate my content, there is a link for PayPal. All right. Some men are not going to like this episode because some men, and look, some women too, are beholden to protein shakes, protein supplements, protein powders. They come in different forms. You can buy them already made. Uh, you can. Most people do the ones with the whey protein where you put the powder and you mix it in with something and, and, and whatnot. I would tell most men to stay away from these things. And there's a certain segment of men that are a recoil in horror when I say that. Why? And it's kind of related to the episode that I did about guys who are overweight. Stop lifting muscles, lifting weights to gain more muscle because you're just getting fatter. Lose the gut. You will lose some muscle at the time. Then rebuild it. I can't tell you how many guys I see at the gym that are overweight, that are lifting weights, drinking their protein shakes all the time, and all they're going to do is perhaps get bigger muscles, but they're going to get bigger gut. They're just going to gain more weight. And here are the problems with protein shakes. There's a bunch. A, a lot of them have sugar. Now, a lot of them don't. And some of you go, mine doesn't have sugar. Here's the problem. Shakes that don't have flavor, people won't buy. And of course, these, these people know that because a lot of people do the protein powders and put in water, which is not going to taste like good. Some people put in milk or non-milk alternative, whatever, but they, they need to make it somewhat flavorful. So what are they going to do? They're going to put in sugar. And there's some protein powders out there that have up to 30 grams of sugar per serving, which is like a soda. And some are going to use artificial sweeteners like aspartame, which is a neurotoxin, caused tumors in rats, seizures, was banned by the FDA for 20 years, and then only brought into the market through corruption. And I mean, we, we can spend tons of time on the problem with aspartame. Sucralose slash Splenda is not much better. So we need to be staying away from artificial sweeteners. Also, artificial sweeteners don't satiate the sweet tooth. There's tons of studies that show that more the people who drink more diet sodas, which have aspartame, tend to be more overweight. So you're dealing with the artificial sweeteners. You're dealing with, if not the actual sugar. Then you're dealing with gluconeogenesis. When we consume too much protein, it turns into sugar. Then, which typically cranks out the insulin, which leads to fat storage. Average American, depending on, on, on what studies, you should be consuming 30 to 50 grams of protein a day. You're already getting that by eating the crap standard American diet. All of us are getting it because there's tons of protein in everything, certainly in meat. If you're eating meat, two meals of the three meals a day, if you're not fasting, you're gonna get enough protein. But Gregory, I need to get 100 grams of protein because this weightlifting site tells me I need 100 grams of protein and eat chicken breast between every set of benching. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you that gluconeogenesis is occurring. Unless you're lifting like Arnold Schwarzenegger circa 1978. And most of you guys aren't. You go in there for an hour or two lift weights while you're gulping down the protein drinks and getting 100, 120 grams of protein a day. That's going to lead to sugar. It converts to sugar. It's going to lead to weight gain. So what would I tell you? Some of you guys are like, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't do protein powders because I don't need protein powders because I eat a good diet and I'm getting good, healthy protein. Some of you are more cardio related. Some of you are women who don't want to bulk up. This, is, this video really isn't for you. This video is for the men who are 280, 5'10", and are overweight, but they can lift. And what I'm telling you is get off the powders, get off the protein powders. You're getting enough protein. And there's so many good sources of protein out there that you can get. Animal sources have the best complete amino acid profile. That's the issue with the vegetarians. But either way, eggs, eggs are protein balls. Get pastured eggs. They're great. 
any of the meats, great sources of protein, um, any of the dairy, especially the non-lactose dairy, yogurt is a good source of protein, even chia seeds, you can sprinkle on a bunch of stuff, good source of protein. There's a lot of good sources of protein. And chances are most of the guys who drink the protein powders and are lifting weights are also eating a lot of meat, burgers, maybe some fish, bacon, eggs. You're getting enough protein. So my advice to you, toss those out, the, pro the protein powders. I know some of you are so beholden to it because your whole identity is linked to it. Toss them out. Not to mention you'll save a lot of money by tossing them out. Toss them out. Look at your diet. Clean up your diet. Do more cardio if you're overweight. Now, look, if, if you're all cut, looking like Iron, uh, you know, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, okay, it's a different story. But if you're watching this, your chances are you're overweight. Throw away the protein powders. Start doing some cardio. As much as you don't like cardio, start doing some cardio. Wean off a little off the weights. Make a concerted effort through my advice and other, other people on YouTube, wherever. Lose the weight. Then you rebuild and get the muscles back, and then you can look like Wolverine. Guys, post in the comments. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Hit the notification, subscribe, and share button. Until next time, take care. God bless and pray.